phone. Uh, okay. There's this. Like, look, America's got this weird kind of work ethic thing because we came, we grew up with parents who grew up in a time that things were more prosperous here. So they kind of have these ideals that kind of just aren't, it's not the same world that they grew up in. But, you know, I'm not against a person making a good living and taking care of things, you know, uh, handling their business. But I think Jesus says this, what profit a man to gain the world? and lose his soul right so okay i'll give you this like yeah maybe i should have a job i should be freaking putting away money for savings right what am i supposed to do when the mark of the beast is here and it's fully implemented huh what would you have me do take it to keep my worldly career so i can fit up to your neoconservative kind of thinking process because like it says, if you have not works, what good is your faith? It's talking about when you see someone you need to show compassion to, do you show them compassion? That's what it means by your works there. If you see someone who's ignorant, a child who needs it to be taught, something that he needs to know, are you willing to, to step in where you can and do things which you can? So it's not necessarily, sometimes that means take the money you just work for real hard. And give it to someone who needs. Sometimes it means that. So you guys have your calling. You know what I'm saying? Because it depends. Listen, you give of abundantly of what you have. If that's what you got, that's what you should give. Because obviously you covet that a lot. Because you got a lot of it. And you make sure that's your first priority in life. Uh, and you know, and I heard this one guy make this, this claim that the Calvinistic work ethic they stole that from the Catholic Church, and it's the same thing. It's like instead of paying tribute to the Pope, you just got like local, basically mafia guys. I mean, look, you know what I'm saying? Basic, they they run it like a mafia, uh, and it's a way to keep you. It's it's a way to keep ties coming in for one, but it also facilitates this kind of neoconservative mindset that we're better than you because we have and you don't. Uh, and you act as if things are like fair altogether and they, they're not. So, but then again, I, I wouldn't want it. I, I, it's like, I don't want to live in a fucking technocracy, dictatorship, socialist or communist or, uh, what's the other one? It's one more to, to, uh, but I can't remember right now, but I don't want to live in neither of those neither. But then again, the way it is, isn't right neither. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, and it's not going to, and even if you think it's right now, it's not going to stay right. So what do we do then? Should we double down on careers and try to get all the money we can? Should we go into the city for a year and make gain and build a bunker? You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's something about this whole thing here that is, uh, if you're in a Joseph type situation where you got people in high places and you've got some pull and you can make a contingency plan for someone good for you man do that but for those for those of us who you know are working with way less and in this world if you're making it dude chances are man you you you're somewhere dude you compromise somewhere dude i'm just telling you man it's just there's no way around it that you can't prosper too much in this world unless you're doing something 